We're joined by Jamie Stedden for today's half minute review. Jamie, how are you doing? I'm all good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, we'll start off um, by talking about our return to training. How good has it been to be back um, training now? Oh, it's been absolutely brilliant, um, especially myself for being injured the sort of few months um, before the, the latest lockdown. So it's been such a long time coming. But, uh, yeah, all the lads are in, in such good spirits because it's been another break that we didn't see coming. So it was a tough period for everyone again, but we're, we're buzzing now that we're back and even getting some good weather the last few days, which has been helping as well. Yeah, you mentioned your injury there. It's been about three months since the last game. It's been even longer for you. Um, can you give us a quick sort of timeline of your injury and your recovery since then? Yeah, well, obviously, the, I played the first game of the season um, away at Clyde. And then the Wednesday after that game in training, I, I went to dive and just sort of twisted on my knee badly and it, it flared up and turned out that um, I'd got an infection in one of the wounds in my knee. So I ended up in hospital for another four days um, with that, which was really tough. Um, so it was obviously, because no one could even come and visit you as well. So I was sort of through in Glasgow morning hospital. Um, and I was yeah, bed bound for four days. So I got to sort of move my, my knee. It was in a pretty bad way. That was sort of out of nowhere. It was, it was tough. But um, thankfully, the, the four days in hospital helped it out. And um, since then, managed to managed to get home. Um, then the sort of few days after I got back from hospital, found out I, I was I tested positive for coronavirus as well. So uh, then I had a couple of weeks self isolating after that. So it was it was a tough period, but um, since then it's all been it's all been positive and my recoveries went well. So like January, February, all went really well. Um, and since we've been back training, I've been back full training and um, feeling really good. To be fair, not got any lasting problems, so it's all good now. And what sort of stuff was when the league got suspended in January? Um, I was actually probably a couple of weeks away from being fully fit, so I was sort of back on the pitch, um, doing a bit of light jogging and stuff. So it would have been another couple of weeks from then, but yeah, since the start of February, I've been fully fit. And you mentioned that the suspension sort of came out of nowhere. What was your first reaction when you you'd heard the news? Um, with the sort of infection that I got. No, the, the suspension of the league in January, sorry. Oh, right. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was tough because we were all at training just doing our normal thing. It was the day before the Cowden Beast um, Cup game. So I was sort of back out on the pitch feeling really positive and stuff. And then people were hearing news about this announcement that was coming. And then the gaffer sort of pulled us all around at the end of training and basically said, uh, game's off tomorrow. So we'll, we sort of let you know what's happening in, in due course. And then over the next couple of days, um, I got announced that basically the league was being suspended again and we wouldn't even be allowed to come in for training for now. So it was a real blow for boys, especially since we'd just started to get into the swing of things again. And yeah, it was tough, but we got through it again. And do you think from a football perspective, you had the first lockdown that was so long, you kind of knew how to approach the second one in terms of keeping yourself fit and that sort of thing? Yeah, definitely. I think all the boys have managed that really well to be fair they've all um we've had a lot of help for the, the coaches and sports science people giving us um the programs and sessions to do at home and yeah from the first lockdown we were all really used to it as well so i think boys were really well equipped this time and um i think we all sort of knew it was going to be a slightly shorter break than the first one as well so it was really important that we we um, made sure we were all 100 percent coming back into the back into training in the last couple of weeks and being ready for the matches that were ahead yeah, it was a couple of months off and we've now only had sort of two and a half weeks to get ready for the competitive football. How much of a challenge has that been sort of going zero to hundred so quickly? Yeah, it was tough the first sort of few days. You're you're back into sort of the strain of full time training and it does sort of take its toll the first few days. You need to look after yourself. But um I think we've we've balanced the workload really well in terms of working really hard but also trying to keep injuries to a minimum. So I think everyone's actually done really well in terms of adjusting to it and everyone seems really sharp now training's training's been flying the last week or so so I think everyone just doesn't for the games to start really and on top of training we've got the final against Hearts and you played the second half of that game made a couple of really good saves um, how key was that in terms of just building up to the, the competitive stuff yeah I think you need to get a, a proper game of some sort um, before going back into the competitive stuff I think me personally as well it was, it was great to actually see like a, a football pitch in front of me again you can do all the training you want but I think it's really important to see 
match environments and um, get a bit of match fitness as well, which is, is different from, from just training. So um, no, I think it was really beneficial, especially against quite a strong arts team, to get those minutes in players' legs ahead of the competitive stuff. And the schedule is dedicated for every team as well compared to the first half of the season. And I suppose that means the preparation is going to be even more important. Yeah, definitely. The, the manager's been drumming in tough since we got back how important it is that we sort of all live our lives really professionally and look after ourselves as much as possible over the next couple of months because it's, it's going to be game after game. And I don't think anyone in Scotland's really used to playing Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So it's going to be um, really tough on the bodies. and everyone in the squad's going to be needed, um, which is a good thing, you know, we're all, we're all need to be ready and ready to play our part because there's going to be games galore, so we need to make sure that we're in the best possible position to, to win as many of them as possible. And for you personally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just before your injury, the two games yeah. prior, you two really good performances, it's just about trying to carry that over and, and getting back into the good performances um, that you had just before you got injured. Definitely, just... Um, you know, if I get my chance, just try and pick up where I left off, really, because I was, I was, yeah, I was feeling really good. I thought I'd done well the last couple of games I played. Um, but yeah, since I got back as well, I've been feeling sharp and good as ever. So hopefully, if I get my chance, I can, I can help the team and help us get some wins. And we've got good competition at the goalkeeping position, obviously, with you and Kieran Wright. And Kieran came in after your injury and, and performed really well. Um, what did you make of his performances uh, while he was deputising? Now it's really good. Off it's tough, tough to judge through watching the games on a laptop. But um, obviously, kept a lot of clean sheets. The defence was really solid. He didn't, he didn't done really well. So now I was, I was pleased for him. Pleased for the defence. Um, they looked really solid as a unit. So hopefully they can keep that up. And and whoever's playing across the back four and Kieran can just keep up those performances and give us a good base to go on and win games from through clean sheets. And that squad depth that has spoken about going right throughout the squad, something that obviously we've already had the goalkeeper, but he's added to the squad elsewhere to make sure that we have got the, the bodies that you've talked about for it to be a squad game. Definitely. I think, yeah, as I said, everyone's going to be needed because I don't think many boys will be able to play the amount of games we're going to have um, consistently. So, so boys will need to rest, which means, yeah, the squad we've got now looks really strong. Um as you said, the gaffer's brought in a few experienced players as well as a couple of younger lads. So I think that gives us a really good balance. Um, there's a few guys that have, the experienced guys came into training and, you know, the, you can see their experience right away. So I think they'll be really important on and off the pitch um, over the next couple of months. And obviously a couple of younger guys will be looking to come in and make an impression, which which can only be a good thing. And the format of the league has been well um, just over the past week or two. Um, it's now an 18-game season, and if we can get to that by a certain point, then we'll get the, the split. Uh, what do you make of that? Um, I think we as players, we we, always, we we look at this stuff where we don't really worry about it too much. You know, like We've seen enough stuff going on over the last year to know that we're not in control of much, and there's not much we can do about it. So we'll just head into every game um, looking to win and make sure that, that we do win as many as possible so if it ends up being a team that we're in the best position to hopefully get promoted so we won't look too far ahead we'll just have to take it as it comes um, game by game week by week Thanks for your time Jimmy. No problem okay.